In the last lecture, we implemented the auto login functionality. So if a user has logged in to our application and if he reloads the page, he still remains logged in. Now we also want to implement the auto logout functionality. So the token which we are going to receive after login, it will expire at some point of time because it has an expiry date, right? So what we want is if the token has expired, the token for that user will no more be valid. In that case, we want to automatically log out the user from our Angular application. Let's learn how we can do that. So one way to log out from our application is by clicking on this logout link. So when we click on this logout link, the user subject in this auth service, so this user subject, it is going to emit null. That means the user will be set to null. And in that case, we are logging out the user. Now, what we also want is once the user is logged out, this user data should be removed from the storage, from the local storage. Okay, so this is the first thing which we are going to do. When this logout link is clicked, we are logging out the user by setting the user object to null. And at the same time, we also want to delete this user data from the local storage. So let me go back to VS Code. And there we have this logout functionality. There, Let's write the logic to remove the user data from the local storage. For that, we can say local storage dot clear. Now, when we use this clear method on this local storage, it is going to clear all the data from the local storage. But here, we don't want to clear all the data. We only want to clear the user data from the local storage. Anyway, we don't have any other data which we are storing in the local storage, but still, if we have some other data which we are storing in the local storage, at that time we only want to remove, we only want to clear that user data from that local storage. Other data, we want to keep it as it is in the local storage. Right. So for that, instead of using clear, I'm going to use remove item. And which item do we want to remove? We want to remove the user data. So if I go back to our application, there we are calling that data. We have provided a variable name for that data, which we are calling it as user. All right. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. And if I click on this logout link, you will notice that that user data has been removed from the local storage. So once the user clicks on that logout link, he should be logged out from the application and it should also delete the user data from the local storage. So that is the first thing which we wanted to do. Now, what we also want is if the token expires, at that time, we also want to auto log out the user. So again, let's go back to VS Code. And there we are going to create a new function, just like we have this auto login. I'm going to create another function and I will call it as auto logout. And this auto logout, when, whenever we will call this auto logout method, there we also need to pass the expiry date, the token expiry time. So here I'm simply going to call it as expired time maybe. Okay, and it is going to be of type number. So basically we are going to pass the expired time in milliseconds. And inside this, we are going to use set timeout function. And for the timeout, we are going to specify this expiration time. And after the expiration time, this callback function will be called. And when this callback function will be called, we are simply going to call this logout method of this auth service. So here, let's say this dot logout. All right. Now, a very important point to remember here is that here we are creating a timer using this set timeout and we need to clear this timer once we log out because this timer, it will be cleared after the expiration time. Right. So if we are going to log out automatically at that time, this timer will expire automatically. But if we log out manually by clicking on the logout link, in that case, the user has logged out, but this timer, which we have created, it will still be running in the background. And since the timer is not cleared, the logout function will be called again after a later point of time when the expiration time has reached. So we have manually logged out from the application. So at that time, the logout function will be called. And after this expiration time expires, at that time also, this logout function will be called. 
so here we are going to log out the user two times even after the user has already logged out because this timer is not cleared after the user has logged out manually i hope this point is clear and we don't want this behavior so when a user logs out manually what we want is we want to clear this timer as well so that this timer does not get called after the expiration time for that what we are going to do is we are going to create a property a private property you can name this property anything but i am going to call it maybe token expire time or timer okay and it is going to be of type any then we are going to assign this timer which we are creating here inside this auto logout so using this set timeout we are creating a timer so i'm going to assign that timer to this token expire timer property and then when this logout function will be called and this logout function will be called either from this auto logout or it will be called when the user clicks on the logout link in the ui so when this logout method is called at that time we want to clear this timer so for that what we are going to do is first we will check if this dot token expired timer if it exists if it has some value some valid value because when we have created it at that time we have not assigned it with anything so at that time it will be undefined okay so we want to check if this token expired timer has some value then only we are going to clear it otherwise if it does not have any value if it is not storing any timer id then we don't need to clear it right so first we will check if this token expired timer contains a timer id in that case we are going to call this clear timeout and when we are calling this clear timeout we also need to pass the timer id which we want to clear and that we are storing inside this token expired timer okay so this will clear that timer and after this we will also set this dot token expired timer to null okay now the next thing which we need to do is we need to call this auto logout from somewhere now from where we are going to call this auto logout basically we need to call this auto logout function every time we are emitting a new user and we are emitting a new user when we are logging in or signing up so if i scroll up we have this sign up and login function and when we are logging in or signing up at that time we are calling this handle create user and from there we are emitting a new user so here we have this handle create user and from there we are emitting a new user right so we want to call the auto logout whenever we are emitting a new user and we are emitting a new user here so just after that we are going to call this dot auto logout and when we are calling this auto logout there we also need to pass the expiration time in milliseconds right so this expired time it is expecting a value in millisecond because here to this set timeout this time interval which you are passing it should be in milliseconds so we have this expires in and this expires in is basically date time value but here we need to pass an integer value a number value so in the response we are going to have the expires in property which is going to give us the expiration time in seconds and to that we will simply multiply 1000 in order to convert it to milliseconds okay then we are also going to call this auto logout from within this auto login because there also we are emitting a new user we are emitting the logged in user right so there also we are going to call this dot auto logout and here also we need to pass the expiration time in milliseconds so here we have the expires in property but this expires in property it is in date time value so what we need to do is we need to convert this date time value 
into milliseconds into timestamp and then we need to pass it to this auto logout so here we need to do some calculation in order to convert this state time value in milliseconds for that what we are going to do is let me create a variable let's call it timer value you can name it anything and in order to calculate the timer value what we are going to do is we are going to get the expiration date so that we have inside this expires in property so let me create an instance of new date and to that i am going to pass this user dot expires in okay and this will create a new date time based on this expires in and on that we are going to call uh, actually this expires in is already a date time value so we can directly call this get time on this date time value so here we are going to receive a timestamp for that particular date time and from there we are going to subtract the timestamp for the current date and time so current date and time we will get using new date constructor and on that when we call get time it is going to give us the timestamp for current date and time so from the expiration date and time which is going to be some future date from that we are subtracting the current date and time timestamp so both of these is going to return us timestamp so from the expiration date time timestamp we are subtracting the current date time timestamp and it is going to give us the value in milliseconds and that we are going to pass to this auto logout okay with this let's save the changes let's go to our application and here let me log in using john smith account so we are logged into our application when i click on this logout it will delete this user data from the local storage and it will also log us out from the application as you can see now in order to test the automatic logout functionality what i'm going to do is here in the auto logout i'm going to specify the expiration time as 2000 milliseconds that means two seconds and with this let's test that functionality so let's go back to our application let me log in here again using john smith account so let me log in so we are now logged in let's wait for two seconds and now you can see we are auto logged out okay so after two seconds we have been auto logged out let me show you that again so let's log in and after two seconds we will be automatically logged out as you can see so the auto logout functionality is also working as expected let's go back and let's change back this time to expiration time let's save the changes so here in this lecture we have implemented the auto logout functionality finally in the next lecture let's fix the final problem so currently what happens is if no user is logged in and if we try to access the dashboard page by typing the url in the address bar we are able to go to the dashboard page even though it is not fetching the data because the user is not authenticated but still we are able to go to the dashboard page so we are going to fix this problem in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day